Jason's innocent. There's nothing that he's done wrong. He'd never do anything, you know, malicious uh, to hurt Iran or the United States. And um, we want that to be as loud as clear as everybody in the world. Um, the trial's going on. We certainly hope that it moves quickly. We hope that the judge takes a look at the evidence, uh, sees what we see, uh, and, you know, uh, will uh, deal with it appropriately and, and uh, let Jason go. My understanding is that today they read the charges uh, to Jason. Um, and uh, because the trial is a closed trial, uh, it's actually illegal for anybody to give any information out from what happened inside of the trial. Uh, so we don't have a lot of information there. What we do know is Jason has said to my mother last week when he spoke to her as well as his wife that uh, he wanted a very vigorous defense, that he was completely innocent, the charges are baseless. And so our expectation is that that's what he said when he was in there. Uh, the Iranians don't accept Jason to be a, a, a U.S. citizen. They only see him as an Iranian, uh, despite the fact that Jason grew up in California, didn't go to Iran until he was 25 years old. So he, um, they, their position is the U.S. shouldn't have any concern over what's going on with Jason, and uh, as a result, uh, neither should uh, the U.S. protecting power. Uh, the Swiss. So he hasn't had consular access. Uh, he hasn't been able to speak with them at all in 10 months. He just wants to go home. He wants to be with his wife. Uh, you know, wants to, to uh, get out. And he wants to prove that he's innocent.